Hello and welcome to Bad Kissingen, which is the home of Aventoyo und Alarad, the largest off-road trade fair in the world. And I really like the looks of this vehicle here from uh, Volker. Uh, it's been built to order for somebody, but uh, then again, yeah, somebody else might want the same thing. Let's have a look inside. It's a rear lounge off-road vehicle, very unusual layout and uh, it costs 170,000 euros but it comes with oh look at all this stuff here right so if you want to read that we'll have a maybe have a look at it once uh, once we've finished there you go so it's got it comes with all that 170,000 euros why is it cost 170,000 well it's built to order and it's got all sorts of extra kit and uh, doing something for 4x4 four four is not the same as doing something that runs on roads. So it needs a lot more specific equipment. We've got this enormous lounge at the back. Now remember the outside, the uh, the floor plate, uh, footprint I should say, uh, is, is quite small. But so the front, the back we've got all of this. Now I know that people like rear lounges. Uh, the table will uh, go down to make a bed and the bed will also use these cushions here and so obviously this is designed for two people instead of having a crawl space I might just call this the crawl space there's the entry to the cab uh, so okay there the obviously it depends uh, the up front uh, I mean this one's in automatic but I mean you, you get it on whatever you ordered uh, from Volkswagen assuming of course that Volkswagen could deliver it so there's the front bit completely separate from the rear bit and the rear bit here will even make this even bigger by using this down like that and that sort of gives you an idea of how much space but now we have genuinely got a crawl space there's a door there as well which uh, will close but uh, I'll leave it open um, there is uh, two two gas burners i think two's enough for most people um this a uh, domestic style sink plenty of space in there with domestic drainage uh really large kitchen in my opinion there and let's have a look in here so um shower is enormous so it would benefit from two uh drainage holes and a domestic one at that uh the this there's the toilet please do not use you know what this, the amount of people who actually use toilets at events like this is absolutely i don't, I don't know what they expect when they come here but uh, you know there are toilets outside anyway that part i'm just having a bit of a go there uh, this thing here will come up and sorry and that will go to one side to allow the thing this to come up and so it gives you a bit more space should you need to use the toilet and there's of course storage up here or oh, whatever goes in the toilet uh, skylight at the top here we have a fridge which appears to be uh, oh look at that oh coca-cola hey 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 that's no good for your health oh no i know what the coca cola is here they need to clean the water tank out with it that's where they've got the cola so and uh one thing i've got to point about coca cola is that don't drink it uh, because uh, it is dangerous uh, so it is good for, it's good for cleaning stuff out because there's lovely lemony smell in your uh, your wastewater tank and it comes up through the pipes but don't don't drink it same with goes for drain cleaners as well don't drink them either uh, right uh, here we have got more stores some is probably living in here at the moment and uh, storage under there and of course there will be storage under here as well but let's have a look at that. Well, we'll see what it looks like from the outside. Uh, I don't know if this is the pièce de résistance, but I really like a big window like this, a panoramic window. The, the disadvantage of the panoramic window, of course, is that it's taking up roof space, which you might want to use for solar, but uh, which we need to power the fridge, for example. And. But I think I think this bit. I really I really like the way this looks. I mean, it wouldn't be suitable for me, of course, because I've got different different requirements. But for you know people who uh, 
uh, like the rear lounge prepared to sacrifice the fact that the the, uh, the garage at the back won't be big enough to get the bikes for example uh, but you know you can't you, there's a, quite clearly quite a large garage in it so um, for storage but anyway that's just the way I look at things anyway up here we've got some of the electronics so your sinus inverter you can see much water electricity and whatever you've got in here and oh, it can even turn off the fridge you know? fridge can turn off and there's your truma your heating supply right and uh, i don't think i showed these but a drawers a drawer is a drawer so i don't so, oops anything in there and good i think i've covered just the, the whole thing in here um well i bet there's plenty of stuff i haven't covered so i'll have a quick look now at what it says here Oh, I do. I do like this. I mean, this is to me sort of totally essential. Mm -hmm. But look, notice how the way it's been built in as well. This is a security door. Probably thinking of places you might go to, something like this, are not the securest. So, yeah. Quite like that. So, got some out outer storage there. There's your storage under the seat there there's the garage but it's not it's, it is uh oh, somebody complained about the white balance on my video i know it's not coming up quite white but anyway the sun's very bright um there storage which will go around the back if you can see it because it's really very very uh very bright here so the storage is it is quite large but it won't fit it won't fit uh, a bicycle in there unfortunately the uh, I re oops I really like the shell as well sorry there you go uh, I really like the way the shell's been built so I think that's a quite a nice looking vehicle yeah hey, so as we're, as we're here we'll have a quick look on this one this one here is uh, for sale so we'll just stick the camera around the side oh isn't that original first thing you do you come into the toilet why do you do that because this is the shower good idea putting it here uh, it saves space and there you've got your your living area and bed as well rear lounge very unusual thinking outside the box something I appreciate toilet the, the door opens two ways and how does this open oh there you go and that is inside the cabin very unusual eh? all right we'll do you see this one in more detail in a different video but now I am going to go back to this one here and let's have a look at some of the uh, some of the features of it and before anybody says oh it's not worth that much money let's have a look at some of the, some of the things they um, put on it I'll just have to do it quickly so it does say okay out art out art craft so it's self-sufficient obviously self-sufficient it's designed to be self-sufficient so that would include uh, things such as the um, the solar for example it comes with uh, this one here comes with a winter packet for example and uh, uh, which uh, uh, tires good rich all, 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 uh, all, all terrain um, so this is made from um, GFK in English is fiber fiberglass and um, uh, okay I'm just sort of trying to pick out one or two of the features here that you can see quickly okay look at the electrics 160 uh, ampere hour life uh, life lithium lithium ferrous uh, life or oh, oh, lithium ferrous oh my mind's gone blank life pull four battery and uh, so it's got a um, charger uh, it comes with um, also the uh, an inverter as well uh, 1700 watt inverter anyway so uh, they've got two solars two times 100 watt 
Uh, obviously things like, when you talk about solar though, I need to point out that one thing which is really important is that uh, it may be 100 watts, but um, that's the maximum. And a quality one giving 100 watts is better than a non-quality one, probably giving 300 uh, in general. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you found that interesting. And if you did, then you might want to see other films. And if you didn't find it interesting, then you certainly won't. Thanks for watching.